How many bridges connect the Florida Keys? Well, in this week's episode, we're gonna be heading from Miami to Key West, and we're gonna be driving over them all. So this week's adventure is gonna be a little bit different in that we've left the van and our dog Tilly back in Miami. You know, we had heard so many horror stories and challenges about having a camper van like ours in the Florida Keys. So we got a rental car and we've cashed in a boatload of hotel points and we're gonna be staying at hotels along the way. But here's our plan. We're gonna spend two nights in Key Largo and kind of explore that area. We're then going to drive a little bit further down the Keys and stay in a town called Marathon. And then we're going to finish up at Key West where we're going to spend three nights and actually head over to Dry Tortugas National Park for a day trip. So if you've never been to the Florida Keys, I'm going to try to just give you a bit of a flavor this week of what there is to see and do. Well, before I go any further, you might be asking yourself, what are the Florida Keys? Well, this is a string of islands that stretch off the southern tip of Florida for about 120 miles. It's estimated that over 1,700 islands make up the Keys. Let's go see another slice of God's beautiful creation. Let's get going. Our hotel in Key Largo was called the Dove Creek Lodge and it was right on the water. Key Largo is the largest key, aka island, in the Florida Keys and has a very laid back vibe. We really enjoyed exploring Key Largo. One of the highlights for us on this entire trip is we did a two and a half hour snorkeling trip at the John Pennock Camp State Park. This was an incredible snorkeling experience for us and we really enjoyed it. The Wild Bird Sanctuary is a nonprofit in Key Largo that rescues and treats injured birds and releases those they can and keeps in captivity those that are unable to be released due to their injuries. It was a great way to see some really cool birds up close. A gentle love, the kind that... Well, it's just before sunset here in Key Largo and I've come down to this uh, very small little public beach and I'm gonna do some photography here of sunset, hoping it'll be a good one, but we shall see.
Okay, so it's a bit touristy, but we ended up taking the bait and we fed the tarpon at Robbie's. I have to say it was quite fun and gave us a pretty good laugh. On our drive to Marathon, we stopped for lunch at Ann's Beach, which was a perfect spot for a picnic with fantastic views. One of the highlights for us was our visit to the Turtle Hospital at Marathon. This is an incredible organization that rescues sick and injured turtles, many that have tumors or have been struck by boats. The only way to visit the hospital is to book a 90 minute guided tour of the facility. We learned so much about sea turtles and the amazing work this team is doing to help these incredible creatures. Quite a few turtles are released back into the wild, but sadly some will never be able to due to their injuries. But they are all very well taken care of here. We even got to feed some of them on our tour. We finished our day at the Sunset Grill and Marathon, which has beautiful views looking out to the famous Seven Mile Bridge. We stayed the night at the Courtyard Hotel in Marathon, which turned out to be a very nice hotel that we really enjoyed. Before hitting the road to head on to Key West, we decided to hit the bikes and bike along the Seven Mile Bridge to Pigeon Key early in the morning. Our hotel had bikes that we were able to use and we had so much fun on this ride. So the number of bridges in the Florida Keys, well, the answer is 42. And there's one that's even seven miles long. This is such an incredibly unique place. The crazy thing is before this was even a road, it was actually a railway. It was actually built in the early 1900s to try to get people down to Key West. It is really beautiful. Definitely one of the more scenic drives that we've done. Highly recommended for you to come and do this drive if you ever get the chance.
Our hotel in Key West was called The Reach, which is a curio collection hotel by Hilton. This was our favorite hotel of our time on the Keys. We were so excited to do a jet ski tour around Key West. Riding jet skis was something neither Lavinia or I had ever done before. We had so much fun. This was a 90 minute tour that took us around the entire island of Key West. One of the very popular things to do in Key West is to head over to Mallory Square around sunset. There are street performers and you get an incredible view of sunset. So our adventures in the Florida Keys does not end here. As I mentioned, we're actually headed over to the Dry Tortugas National Park, but you're gonna have to stay tuned in next week to check out that adventure. Well, that's it for now. We'll see you on the road next time and may God bless you.